All right, Aries. So this one is a little bit difficult and because of trickery showing up, I'm going to read the card at a glance so you guys can kind of understand. So from Lee Vampire, the past to prison, bitterness, grudge, and refusal to let go. And then from Chakra Wisdom, trickery. I don't see this one a lot, but with the past of prison, it, to me, this is talking about what other people are doing or what other people have put on you. The problem is, is with trickery, it could be the manipulation of another person or it could be, you know, because of the inability to let go of the past that some of you may be doing this. But trickery, the card at a glance, it says, notice here that there may be manipulation because of a fear of being rejected. There is no evil intent, only a deep desire to be loved. This card may also indicate that you should practice asking for your true heart's desire rather than fearing someone else's resentment. But, you know, the past of prison is very specific about the bitterness of someone else being put on you and you having an inability to let it go. All right, Aries, here's your overall for the week. Damn, man, death, right? Oh, and looking at the past of prison, you know, absolutely. It's about the past being over with. You know, you can't cling on, right? Death and transformation here. The phoenix rising above the ashes. And I hope that this is what this is about. But, you know, like I've always said, when death comes in on his horse, we don't have a choice. It's over. We can't go back, right? It's definitely about a situation that is over with for good. And with what you're pulling in the oracle cards, it needs to be. Now, in the past, the Ace of Pentacles. So at one point in the past, you know, there may have been an opportunity here. It could have been a work opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, I look at this and I think something that is practical, realistic, has the ability to be long lasting for you. But with death being there, something needs to end. Something needs to change. This may still be an opportunity coming through. Now... <laughs> In the present, the King of Wands. You know, I, I don't feel that bad about it. The only thing that I worry about is what some of you may be dealing with with the Oracle cards. But with the King of Wands being in the present moment, this is about you, right? Whether you're male or female here, the King of Wands. Now, definitely you could be dealing with another person, possibly another fire sign. But, you know, I see this as you, you know, having already had some experience going forward with wisdom here toward a new beginning that is still coming through to you you know but again death being there something is definitely over with and you are changing oh my god all right the three of swords oh boy you know i i try I try to stay positive when it comes to these readings. The Three of Swords with death being there, that's a good thing, right? But it is needing to accept that, you know, this is over with. Heartbreak, heartbreak, separation, betrayal. You know, now with the King of Wands, you know, it, it may be that here you need to take a different opportunity, but you know, it could also be because you're dealing with somebody who can't commit, or it could be you that can't commit to a situation, you know? And maybe that needs to be over with if you need to, you know, take advantage of a different opportunity. Because I still see that Ace of Pentacles and I don't think that that is what is over with. I think that something else is definitely over with. You know, but that Three of Swords, it, it's going to be difficult for either you or somebody else involved here coming out. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, like, I get this feeling here with this one that, you know, with the Three of Swords, it definitely this could be what is happening to you. But it may also be that you need to separate here. You need to separate from a person, from a situation, especially if you're dealing with somebody who can't commit because, you know, th that's one of the faults of the King of Wands. As much as I love him, hell, I live with him. But with the Wheel of Fortune and looking at death, I mean, definitely, it is the end of a situation here, but it is about the better things happening, a better opportunity, and it's still coming through. But if you're needing to end something once and for all here, 
with the three of swords, you know, it could be painful for both people involved. You know, if we're talking about you dealing with another person here. But I look at this and I think this is good, right? This is good for you. Like it's about time. In your environment, the Seven of Cups, you know, I look at this and I think that for a lot of you, you have been thinking about, you know, how to get to this Ace of Pentacles, right? Which I'm glad it's not the Ace of Wands this time. Because I look at the Seven of Cups and I do think, you know, it is about the different options that you may be fantasizing about. But I look at this and think, how do I get to the castles I'm building in the sky, right? How do I get from here to there, right? Right. And this is something that you've been thinking about for a while, something that you've been wanting to do or wanting to, you know, make happen for you. You may still be in this place where you're thinking about how to do this. But, you know, again, right, like this right here is harsh, but I feel like it's in order for things to be better for you. It's like it almost has to happen. It has to be done. Your hopes and your fears, the two of wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Th this is going to be about, you know, the Aries out there that are dealing with a really difficult situation that you may have to bring to a close. It may break somebody's heart. It may be difficult for you and another person. But this is really about you working on these plans that you've been, like, thinking about, fantasizing about for a while, right? No longer being manipulated by a difficult past you know, with the Oracle cards, right? I do think that this opportunity is still coming through for you, but I do think that you're going to have to do something very difficult and very hard to get to this, to start acting on these plans, right? To realize what you have been fantasizing about, what could be possible with this Ace of Pentacles coming through. Whoo-wee! And then coming out, judgment. Damn. Oh, God. Hmm... You know, it's not justice. So it, it, for me, this is like, oh man, right? Like the review, you know, having to review things, having to lay something to rest here, but it's not that, you know, easy, right? And it, did you make the right judgment here? I feel like this is something that you needed to do. You know, and, and I do think that, you know, you, you have looked at the situation as much as you possibly can. And I think maybe there's a realization here that the only way to act on this is to bring to close something in a really difficult way. You may not have wanted to do it this way, but it's like you don't really have a choice, though, you know. And I, I look at that two of wands and I think this is about hoping to be able to act on these plans, but then also hoping that, you know, these plans work out in a good way for you. But I don't think that that's the case, but I think that that is what needs to be or what needs to happen. All right. With the eight of cups and looking at the ace of pentacles, like I said, I still think that this is something still coming through for you that you've been wanting to do. You know, especially with the way that it lines down. But clearly here, you've already been with something in the past that was not fulfilling for you. And you have thought about leaving it to start a new opportunity, which is right there. Now, with temperance and looking at you with the King of Wands and looking at the Seven of Cups, this is really about keeping yourself in balance here knowing that you're going to have to end something or to separate. I don't think that you're looking to betray anybody here. That's not it because I'm not looking at the Five of Swords. I'm not looking at the Seven of Swords. It's just going to be a really difficult, heartbreaking situation that you have to do. And I think that you realize that. Now, with the Hierophant coming out, this could definitely be about breaking a commitment, right? In you know, not wanting to conform anymore to something that is not giving you fulfillment, right? But then I also look at the the Hierophant and think, you know, being a little bit more spiritually grounded here, especially with temperance, you know, gaining some knowledge here. And then you do have, you know, the King of Wands coming through, you know, and, and that wisdom there through your experience. But I do think that with the Hierophant, it, to me, it almost looks like it's in reverse here. You know, with the way everything is lining up, not wanting to, you know, be a part of a commitment 
right? It, wanting to break that, wanting to go against tradition here, wanting to do something that is not traditional, but it is because it's something that you want to do, but you know you need to end a situation in a really difficult way. Wow. So in order for there to be a renewal, right, with the third chakra or the solar plexus, you need to get that chakra spinning. You need to feel better about your sense of direction, your sense of self, who you are, your identity. And once you do that and there is a renewal there, you will flourish. This will be better for you, which is perfect. It's perfect. I love it, Aries. I, I think it's a good thing. I do think that, unfortunately, you know, some of you are going to have to do something really difficult to get to this point. But, you know, with judgment coming out, man, that's heavy. But I think that, you know, you realize that it has to be done. Right. And, and some of you may be looking to make a new commitment to with the Hierophant coming out, but with the Three of Swords, eh, you know, and then, yeah, so there is something that you're needing to do for somebody else. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Now, looking at this, it's just basically saying that, you know, don't forget about, you know, the other people in your life that have love for you and you have love for them you know, but I see this as something that you need to do. You need to do this for you. You need to do this in order to feel better about who you are and actually be able to do something that you've been wanting to do and no longer feeling like you're being manipulated, you know, into a past that doesn't fit you anymore. <laughs> 